So in this problem, we're told that the area A of the region S that lies under the graph of the continuous function is the limit of the sum of the areas of approximating rectangles. We're told that A is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of this. We're told to use this definition to find an expression for the area under the graph of F as a limit. We're told not to evaluate the limit, and we're given this function here. F of x is equal to 5x times the cosine of 5x from 0 uh, to 2. So let me walk you through this problem. So there's this formula that you have to know in order to solve this. So the, the integral from a to b, and you might not know what this is yet, but I'll show you. The integral from a to b of f of x dx is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity And then we have the function f of a plus delta x times i times delta x. So this formula right here is something you had to memorize. So let me try and show you what this means right here. So this basically just means our function f of x. And they told us that uh, the area is this function right here. So basically what you want to do is a and b are just going to be your uh, minimum number like so this range right here so a is going to be equal to 0 and b is going to be equal to pi over 2 so of our like domain here the lowest number is going to be a and our max number is going to be pi over 2 in this case so it would just be whatever numbers here in your case and so what we want to do is just use these numbers to help solve this so we have this right here and this is basically what they're solving for so we have to find this so first let's try and find um, delta x so delta x is going to be equal to b minus a over n. So we already know what b is. b is going to be pi over 2, and a is going to be 0. So if we solve this, we're going to get pi over 2 minus 0 over n. So pi over 2 over n, which basically just equals pi over 2n. So now we got delta x. And basically now we have everything that we need in order to solve this. So, so basically we're just going to take uh, this right here, a, plus delta x times i, plug it into our f of x function, and then multiply it by delta x. So we have our function right here, f of x equals 5x times the cosine of 5x. And so let's plug everything in now. So f of x is going to be equal to um, f or 5 times, so what we plug in for x is going to be a. So a is going to be 0, so we can write 0. Plus, but I'm not going to put 0 because 0 doesn't add anything to it. And then we have the delta x. And we already know what delta x is. It's pi, or pi over 2n. And then we multiply it by i. So pi over 2n times i. Then we have the cosine of 5. Then x again, we just plug in the same thing. So pi over 2n times i. And then, so now we got this. Now what we got to do is just multiply by delta x. We already know what delta x is, so just round the whole things in parentheses, and then we're going to multiply by pi over 2n. So this is going to be the final answer to this problem.